Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you some of my most luxurious smelling perfumes and also a few luxury products. But before I do that, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Weird Wonderful family. I would love to have you join me. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, this video is in collaboration with Lily Silk. Now, they reached out to me and they asked if I would be interested interested in receiving some products in exchange for a video. So this is uh, part of the video is talking about Lily Silk. Um, yes, so um, no money was exchanged and I also made it very clear to them that I was going to give them, give you my honest opinions. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the luxurious nature of these products. So one of the things that I thought was a luxury item but uh, kind of a, a, an important item to have was a silk or satin pillowcase. At first I thought, ah, satin's good enough. And the reason being is, um, you know, if you use something silky, you're, there's less friction on your hair, which leads to less frizz, uh, less potential breakage, and that sort of thing. And being, I've been about getting healthy hair because I've, I've gone silver, this is my natural hair color. It's taken me 22 months to get there. I wanted a nice silk pillowcase pillowcase, but I thought, ah, I don't want to spring for the silk. So I went with satin, which also felt very luxurious until I got the silk one. So I have, I've slept on both satin and silk and even the quality, like I bought this satin one online and um, the quality, like you can kind of see the fibers, it's still slippery and that's great, but the silk was just that much more luxurious. The other thing is that when you're dealing with a silk product, it's natural, which is just naturally better for you. It's just a very nice product. It feels luxurious. Someday I'd like to be able to buy a whole entire silk sleep set because it's amazing. I like sleeping in silky uh, items just because it makes turning in your bed easily easier. So uh, the silk was definitely beautiful to sleep on. I've loved sleeping on it ever since I've gotten it. The other thing that I love about the pillowcase is that uh, it's really well sewn. So it's sewn nicely. It's an envelope pillowcase. I think you can get both online, uh, but the pillowcase um, is an envelope. So then your pillow doesn't show, it doesn't slide out. Uh, so I just really, really love the pillowcases. The quality is really nice. And um, basically, uh, Lily Silk is known for their mulberry silk. Now, mulberry silk is to silk what Egyptian cotton is to cotton. So it's kind of the higher tier uh, quality silk that you're going to get from Lily Silk. So I really loved it. I love the way it came packaged. So it came in this little box like this. And then you've got a little uh, tissue on there, which is always kind of fun. It's always kind of fun to open that tissue. And then here's the product. And like I said, it's just, um, it's just beautiful. It's dense. It's rich. I love the way it's sewn. And I really care about quality. Now, I haven't washed this yet. So it'll be interesting to see how it washes. I have um, another pillowcase that I've slept on. This one I haven't slept on yet. But overall, I love it. Now, what I love about sleeping on a, a luxurious silk pillowcase is that um, my hair doesn't frizz up as much. There's less breakage. And then the best part about it is that when you're sleeping on something where your hair has uh, mobility, uh, and doesn't get all fuzzy. I just find that my hairstyle lasts longer, which decreases the amount that I have to use hot tools. So I love it for my hair. So I, after trying the silk versus the satin, I will not use the satin. My, my son can use the satin. I'll be using silk from now on because it's really nice. The other two products that they sent me was a sleep cap um, and this, many people use sleep caps. I would maybe use this. I, I would tend to just use the pillowcase. Uh, my son uses sleep caps, but this one fit quite small. So personally, <laughs> it looks kind of cool as just a plain weird hat, but uh, what I, this fits quite small. And I find that I would end, I feel like I'd end up with a line through my hair here. So I was thinking that it was a lot bigger and I'd be able to tuck my hair in. So just be mindful of the size. They have quite a few different uh, styles of, of caps. So check them out. The nice thing about using a cap 
is if you are traveling um, and you don't want to bring your pillowcase or your pillow, uh, you know, you can just use a cap instead. Uh, like I said, be careful with this one in regards to size. I have a relatively small head. This didn't fit my son uh, at all, but he's got a ginormous head. <laughs> So the next product that they sent me, I was really excited about, was a silk scarf. Now I wanted kind of a silk uh, Hermes twilly scarf to go with uh, my purse, and I'm gonna be sharing my purse with you too. Uh, but um, yeah, I wanted that. They had three different options, and so I have it wrapped on my purse like this, and I just think it looks super classy, and I love it. So there you go. Please feel free to go check out their website. They have tons of products from full bedding to, you know, your sleep accessories like separate pillowcases, hair ties, sleep masks, all that kind of stuff. They also have beautiful pajamas, full bedding, which someday I would really love. And then they also have like shirts and dresses, that sort of thing. So tons of options to check, uh, check out. So feel free to check it. I'll leave all the information in the description box. And if you are interested in purchasing, there will be a link for you. There's a discount code also. It's it's called 12 and it'll get you 12% off of uh, anything in the store. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the perfumes. So I'm going to share with you five perfumes that I consider super luxurious from my collection. They smell rich, so they're not necessarily luxury perfumes with this $400 price tag. They're relatively reasonably priced perfumes, but they just smell like money, like they smell luxe. So the first one is Prada La Femme. Now, even this bottle to me looks rich. Like, I just imagine, this bottle represents some fancy dancy business executive wearing a white wool outfit, gold accessories, and she is powerful. Now this smells clean. Mm. It's very floral. So it's, it's full on white floral, mainly tuberose in here. Uh, there's a bit of sweetness, but there's also a bit of spice. So this has orris root and spices in it as well. So as it dries down, you get this hint of spice, but overall it smells clean, like a clean, very expensive shampoo or soap. It's I wouldn't consider it soapy necessarily, but it just smells rich. It just smells deliciously rich. So Prada La Femme, highly recommend. The next one, I'm not gonna talk too long about it because I've talked about it in several videos, but it's Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Now this one, this one is completely different. So this one is kind of like day appropriate. This is night appropriate, but it smells luxurious. It smells rich. It smells sexy, sensual. It's, uh, yeah, it's creamy, it's deep, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I, I can't say enough about this. This to me is one of the sexiest perfumes I've ever smelled, but it smells like you're just a really, really rich, sexy woman. <laughs> so I love the way it smells. Deep, dark, sensual, sexy, creamy. Uh, yeah, it's so, so good. Let me know if you've tried this one. I love it. Next one I have for you is Guerlain Terracotta. Now this one's way lighter. I'm just going to spray it. This one is definitely more of a summer uh, perfume. It's got like it's got some, I think there's ylang ylang in it. Uh, I think there's tuberose in this one as well. There's some coconut. To me it smells like a warm breeze uh, let's say you're somewhere tropical and the breeze comes in and you smell kind of the tropics, uh, you know, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of uh, the tropical florals, and it almost smells warm to me. Like it smells like a warm breeze, if that, I, I know that's kind of weird, but it smells like a luxury warm, <laughs> warm breeze. So um, the, the closest thing that I can think of, whenever I smell this, I think about this time that I was in the Philippines and uh, at, at the very end of our trip, we stayed in a like a super high luxury hotel. And uh, as you walked into the hotel, like there was kind of like, everything was like alabaster. It was really, really beautiful in there. But there was this table that was like almost as big as my kitchen. Like it was a huge, huge table. And there were just all these different lengths of vases. 
and they had all these uh, tropical florals, uh, kind of like orchidy type smells. So when you walked in, you just smelled this beautiful white floral and it smelled super opulent, super luxurious. And that's what this one reminds me of. So super rich and really all of these, like you're dealing with Tom Ford, Guerlain, Prada. So they're all kind of luxury brands in general, but the scents of them really smell, they're, uh, I would say like they're not bam in your face. They're more, um, they're just alluring. So all of these, even the, like these are more daytime appropriate, I would say, but there's still just a, an understated luxury or richness to them. So the next one, I, I couldn't do a luxury video without mentioning Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I love this one. You get orange off the top. There's orange and bergamot, but it comes across really warm and quite tame. Like it's not a sharp citrus at all. It's a very warm orange, kind of sweet orange citrus, like a very ripe, juicy orange, that kind of orange. And then it moves into some floral notes uh, like jasmine and rose in the, the mids. And then as you dry down, you get some uh, vanilla and I think there's tonka, there's oak moss. So there's a bit of spice in this too. And what I find with white florals, like any sort of a, a perfume of this nature, this is definitely more heady. Uh, but I, I find that if there's like some vetiver or oak moss or spice in there, it just kind of grounds it and it brings kind of, again, that alluring, uh, sensual aspect to it and kind of keeps it from getting cloying. So, uh, Coco Mademoiselle, just beautiful. Even the bottle screams luxury. Um, I love the scent. I love how long it lasts on my skin. Uh, I can wear this all day and yeah, it's Chanel. It's beautiful. It's, I love it. I love it. The last perfume that I have for you today is kind of a surprising one. It's Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. So this, the price point is pretty reasonable if you can find it these days. Um, I just think the bottle is gorgeous, but the scent, when I think of luxury, this is one of the ones that I think of. It's rose geranium and vetiver. And again, that vetiver just kind of grounds the rose. It comes across a little bit like a, a, a dark, uh, delicious wine with rose is what I get out of it. But it smells rich. It smells, it makes me think of, um, you know, some opulent house where they've got wood paneling everywhere and you walk into the room and maybe like, I don't know why, the bottle reminds me of wood, like kind of a wood panel, paneled room. And uh, you've got like, um, almost like a chartreuse green velvet couch in there. And you pour yourself a glass of wine or something. You put on a jazz record, there's books lined in it. Yeah, like a library almost. It doesn't smell like a library, but I think of a rich, a uh, fancy room like that. And then you sit on your, uh, I don't know why chartreuse, <laughs> kind of a chartreuse green, yeah, velvet couch, kind of fancy with the wood legs, you know what I mean? Uh, listening to some jazz, drinking wine, and smelling like this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get. <laughs> so anyway, these are my luxury perfumes. These are my luxury products. Oh, I have one other luxury product to show you. I love handbags, but I don't like the, the, the price tag of designer bags, but I do like luxury quality products. I think that's part of it. Like the Lily Silk pillowcase was quality. Like it was a nice quality. Um, the, the perfumes, nice quality. They smell rich. They smell expensive. Um, I like expensive purses, like well-made handcrafted purses. Uh, so this purse I actually got from Winner slash Home Sense. So it's just really a simple bag. It's got the, this, uh, like the long handle. I mainly carry it like this, but it's fully leather. There's suede. Uh, it's all made with suede, handmade. Uh, so beautiful the way they've edged the sides. It's just really, really beautifully made. And I love it. I love wearing the, the scarf with it. But the reason why I wanted to show you this is sometimes I think we think that we can't have luxury products 
uh, unless we pay like $500, $600. And although that's wonderful, and if you can afford that, you go for it. But um, anybody can get luxury products these days for reasonable prices. So this cost $100 Canadian. Uh, and I think it was well worth it. It's not a whole lot of money. It is still an investment. So I don't think that $100 is nothing. But this bag um, will last me for years. And so far, I've so enjoyed wearing it. I feel fancy when I carry it. Um, it, it goes with tons of my stuff. So I just, I absolutely love this. So highly recommend uh, checking out, looking for a really good handbag. And to me, if I'm gonna spend $50 on a purse, I'd rather uh, wait for something that's around 100, 150 at discount stores and get myself something that's high quality that I'm gonna enjoy, that I feel good carrying. And same thing with these perfumes. Every perfume that I have, and there's many different price points, uh, this one's definitely more reasonable than this one. Uh, you know, I've got some higher end prices and some under $100 with the other three. Uh, but whatever I wear, I want to feel luxurious. I want to look luxurious. I want to feel luxurious. And to me, that is not associated with a dollar amount. So it can be like super rich and luxurious and expensive and everything else, but I can still get that feeling not uh, paying an arm and a leg. So to me, luxury, although like, I guess people associate luxury with like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, places like that. And you know, that's, that's great. And I'm happy for anybody that can uh, purchase that sort of thing. But to me, we sh shouldn't feel disqualified we can still experience luxury in products like a pillowcase where it's just a little taste of luxury or like a perfume like this one was way more expensive than this one, but they both make me feel uh, like I'm dressed up or expensive or pampered. And to me, that's what it's about. So um, I don't need to spend a whole lot of money. Same thing with this purse. You know, this purse to me is beautiful. I love it. It's well made, but it's a decent price and I'm so happy with it. So it's, and, and it makes me feel special when I'm carrying it. So really it's not about the price tag. It's about how it makes you feel. Do you feel uh, fancy in it? Does it make you feel a little bit more special? If it is, if it does, then to me, that's, that's what luxury is about. It's about treating yourself. So hope that makes sense. Um, I hope this video wasn't too long. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.